But today I wasn't even really planning on making a video because I was researching for my video that I'm making tomorrow about why British journalism is so uniquely terrible. But then because I had to go on Twitter for a bit to research that topic, I came across tweets like this talking about the new Star Wars Outlaws trailer, I think it's called, the new game from Ubisoft, and they're all complaining about the new female protagonist who apparently to them is either ugly or looks like a dude, and this is all done on purpose because of woke game devs on purpose trying to make protagonists ugly now because, I don't know, it's feminism or a self-insert. Now, I don't know how long I'm going to actually you know, talk for this video because it's not really planned that well. But it's something that's been on my mind for a long time. And there's a word I want to use, but I'm not going to use because um, I want this video to be monetized. But let's just say the word for adult entertainment or adult film. And I want to call it adult film brain. Because these people view everything through the lens of an adult film. And if you're viewing it through that lens that unrealistic lens of these adult film actors and actresses who get hired for these roles because of their sex appeal and looks, and that's actually how you want all women to look because fundamentally you only see women as sex objects. Now this of course isn't relegated to any one political side of the spectrum, but it's pretty clear it's way more common on the conservative side because all of these things are wrapped in that sweet baby ink hysteria. But this has been going on for a long, long time. When Abby got revealed for The Last of Us and they were saying Abby was like transgender, Abby was a dude, Abby is ugly, Abby is a self-insert from someone who works at Naughty Dog. Just so much insane shit. And also the ones about Aloy and Lara Croft are just so bizarre to me because these characters are good looking like even objectively good looking i would say and they're saying they're ugly because that's how much adult films can rot your brain and rot how you view women combined with just horrible misogyny in that you only see women as fit for one thing then yes you can see how the discourse gets so insane and obviously this is on twitter which is basically like 4chan on steroids and it's a place where all these incels can congregate and just say all this like horrible shit about women. And it is amazing to me as someone, you know, I'm not old, but I remember when incel used to be like a super fringe thing. It seems to be now a big percentage of conservatives, especially online, are actually incels because you guys tell me in the comments, do you think any of the people writing the comments you're gonna see today, do you think they have any healthy relationships with women if any relationship with a woman who isn't their mother or potentially like a close family member and even then you'd think they'd be horrified if they heard their close family member talking about women like this because if you seriously think this new Star Wars character is an example of an ugly person then what is everyone in your real life going to think of you if you go around saying that stuff? I just cannot imagine anyone who even just has a like a healthy normal social life even sh complaining about shit like this. Like, I cannot imagine it. Like, if one of my friends came up to me and said something like this, I would be like, what the hell has happened to you? You're like the biggest weirdo going because who actually thinks about women like this? And obviously we know anonymously online they say this stuff, but now it's loads of people on their Twitter accounts with their full names verified so that their bank account is also linked to that account. And they're just, you know, saying this shit. So before we get into this properly, follow me on social media at The Cavernacle, mainly on Instagram, uh, travel and my personal Instagram and I don't really use Twitter anymore so check out my Freds and Blue Sky accounts and if you want to support my work please check out the Patreon page and through that you can join the Discord server. So yeah Star Wars Outlaws is made by Ubisoft, Ubisoft Massive specifically who made The Division and made uh, the Avatar game which was surprisingly in my opinion you know pretty good even though it was fairly like derivative of the Far Cry games which I enjoy to some extent uh, it had like a really nice spin. It felt very authentic. So I, for one, am super excited about this game. You know, I love Star Wars. Finally, because I quit Twitter and bought myself an iPad, I've actually caught up on all Star Wars. I'm up to date on Bad Batch. I finished Tales of the Jedi. I finished Mandalorian. The only thing I haven't finished is the anime stuff, which isn't canon anyway, and it's a bit hit or miss. But yeah, I'm super excited for this. And if you played an alien, that was pretty gross. 
I also would be super excited for this game because it's the first game probably ever that allows you to exist in the Star Wars world in this way. And typically, I'm also a fan of Assassin's Creed games and Ubisoft open world games because of their attention to detail with NPCs in the environment. So I'm hoping they might have had some help from the people who make Assassin's Creed. So yeah, really excited for this game. And if I'm honest, I'm not too excited about the main character. I'm excited about that droid with the commando droid head wearing a trench coat. In terms of the actual main character, I'm not really vibing with her, mainly because she's a bit too, I don't know, from the looks of it, too quirky, too marvel -y, I would say, in terms of like, she reminds me of an MCU character with all the quips. But at the same time, I'm willing to give her a chance. But do you know what I didn't care about or notice is, is what she looked like. And if I wanna give my honest opinion, and not that I actually care about this, but the character model is actually an attractive woman. She's not extremely sexualized. If you ask someone their opinion, just your average person, is this person good looking? They're gonna tell you that she is good looking. And that's because the actress, the character model is based on is also good looking. And that just happens to be the way of the world. If you are the main character in something, you are probably good looking because yes, our society does care about looks, but here comes the problem, right? You can be very good looking and be, you know, the protagonist of a video game. Think of the actress who played the recent Lara Croft and think of, you know, the character models in those three games for Lara Croft. This is actually like a very, very, very attractive person. But at the same time, these gamers are not even happy about that. They want the old Lara Croft back. They want the super sexualized Lara Croft wearing a really skimpy outfit. And then it's not surprising you get comments like this. So someone posting a screenshot and also, I think this is like edited as well because it doesn't actually look like anything you see in game or it could be from like a pre-order bonus screenshot. Maybe they didn't finalize the character design, but actually in motion and from screenshots from the cutscene, she doesn't look like this. But again, this still of them, I still don't think looks ugly. Uh, this is the main character for Star Wars Outlaws. Can't wait to not play it, watch it fail. I'm sure she looks exactly like one of the developers. You can tell they took a real woman and then blend shaped a man on top. An ugly girl main character. There's an original twist. She looks like the dude from the Warriors. I mean, objectively she doesn't. Sweet baby. Remember when it flops, it will be the far right gamers who hate women and hate Star Wars. I thought that was a dude. Yep, another game I won't buy. That's a man, right? Needs a beard. The whole writing team is woke as hell as well. Receipts from another YouTuber, which is absolutely like hilarious. I've been thinking about this recently as well, as I've been watching all the Star Wars content, like especially the Bad Batch, which although might be targeting like a bit of a younger audience, it's like very unapologetically left wing in a lot of its themes. And a lot of Star Wars is these days keeping true to the spirit of Star Wars. So if you're making sci-fi, which is based on left wing themes, you'd think most conservatives would consider a lot of those themes woke. And I have to ask myself, what do conservatives actually like about Star Wars? Like fundamentally, what do they like? Just the lightsaber fights and battles. Because if you delve into the themes of any of the Star Wars properties. It could be the prequels, it could be the original trilogy, it could be obviously Andor, which is very explicit, it could be the Mandalorian, which has elements to it, it could be the Clone Wars, Bad Batch and Rebels, which have a lot of left-wing themes. Like, what do you like about it? Why do you hate the Empire? Like, why do you hate them? It seems like you'd agree with everything they do, including like the racial supremacy. And it's funny, the thing they hate the most is a sequel trilogy, which I think for the most part is bad. Politics are both nearly non-existent and also pretty ridiculous. And episode nine is one of the worst movies I've ever seen, but they hate all of those ones, but don't hate something like Andor, which is like explicitly very, very like woke and left wing. Just a small tangent. I just don't understand it recently. Please let me know in the comments. What do you think conservatives love about Star Wars so much? So this guy popped up on a video the other day, Grums, who was a failed game developer. And again, he was tweeting me when I tweeted once that Cyberpunk was anti-capitalist telling me it wasn't, it's actually anti-woke. Um, it's always the jawline. No reason to give every woman in AAA <laughs> games a male jaw, so why do they do it? And thankfully, like a lot of people, even the blue check marks um, were clowning on this guy. But at the same time, loads of people saying it's activists projecting their insecurities onto the rest of us. And before someone objects, this would not be an issue if it was something that just happened every once in a while right now. It's like they're coming off an assembly line. Freaks hate female beauty. And on the Geeks and Gamers subreddit, they posted a meme basically about this. 
how with modern gaming, all women just look like, I don't know, Quasimodo. Keep in mind when I'm reading some more of these comments, what do you think these people's interactions with women look like in real life? And that's why I say the incel subculture has just become like normal conservatism because these are the same people who will blame feminism for not getting dates. And this is how they talk about women who don't look like adult film stars. Completely like making up a scenario. What are you playing? It's a game about a smuggler in, in a Star Wars universe where you fight gangsters and cultists with your droid companion and a small animal that follows complex instructions. Why is your character so ugly? To be more realistic really disgusts me. We play games to escape from reality, not be reminded of how ugly it is. Reminds me of Disney live actions too. When they do too much realism, it takes away the magic. Someone better destroy Sweet Baby Ink and their delusional wannabe rebels. I play video games to entertainment. I find it entertaining when I'm playing as a cool character. If I'm playing as a guy, I want him to be handsome, cool beefcake. If I'm playing as a lady, I want her to be beautiful, cool woman with curves and a thin waist. Maybe even boob armor. Does that make me a bad guy? I think it comes down to the psychology of wanting to identify with a character or wanting to emulate that character. I'm by no means an ugly person, but I could use some work. So when I'm going to spend a couple hours role playing in a fantasy simulation, I want my avatar to be cool. And it turns out being in shape and genetically gifted with good looks is cool. I mean, like this comment speaks to a lot of their own insecurity. I never played Halo and thought, man, Master Chief would be more relatable if he was my height, took anxiety meds and had a hard time fostering interpersonal relationships. So again, like I said, think about these people's own personal situations. And that wasn't like the worst comment. But I think it highlights a lot of issues of like, I don't want to see myself in this game because I don't like myself. And I think that's interesting as well, because I don't know about you, when I create a character in a game, I pretty much create someone who looks like me. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people do this. So V in Cyberpunk, my male V, I made him so he looks like me because I'm playing a role playing game and I want to project myself onto the story. And I actually like myself thinking about V through my own like personal like politics perspective that's something that works for me and i was actually going to make myself a dragon's dogma as well the version i made of me didn't look like me and then i saw some like really cool Geralt tutorials so i switched it up for Geralt instead because i love the witcher so much i just don't understand how it breaks the fantasy to not play as someone super objectified so you'll see them recently talking about how great Stella Blade is because that main character is super sexualized and you know very prominently displays her boobs and her bum and stuff and when I'm playing The Last of Us with the characters who they think are ugly and you know they hate for being ugly like Ellie and Abby who in my opinion aren't ugly anyway but if we're just going to talk about them being maybe less conventionally sexualized characters in a game how does playing as these two characters take you out of the reality, I'm in the reality, I'm going along with their story because those games are so well crafted with great characters and great world building. So that's what puts me in that reality. Them looking more like regular people doesn't suddenly make me think this game is reflecting my reality specifically. And I've made whole videos about how it does reflect our reality in some ways in terms of like certain conflicts and stuff. This mindset is something I just will never understand. I will role play as myself in a game like Cyberpunk and I'll happily play a game like Horizon where I'll get into the mindset of Aloy. And I think a lot of these people fundamentally don't want to play as female characters in games unless they're sexualized because they're not actually interested in female perspectives for anything. Like they don't actually care about female characters. They like to run out, oh, I care about Ripley from Aliens. That's pretty much the only one. But because Aloy's story pretty much has zero to do with romance or her being a sexual object for the most part, they hate her and don't want to play as her. And in terms of the men, they always want to be these men, right? Because they don't like themselves, a lot of them. So even with someone like Arthur Morgan, who's very weathered, again, looks like your average Joe, they'll defend that and say, well, he's like an action hero, isn't he? He's a cowboy, he's good at fighting. So I do like that. But what if women turn around and said, actually, I want all male characters to look like Timothy Chalamet, like be that small and be that skinny. And if like female-led studios started doing that, they would complain about wokeness as well, even if they use the same logic like, oh, I just want to be attracted to the main character. Arthur Morgan's not attractive. When I play a video game where the male is the lead, I want to play as someone who's personally attractive to me. So that would be someone who looks like Timothy Chalamet and not someone weathered and old like Arthur Morgan. Fundamentally, all of this just stems from hating women. And again, seeing them as solely 
sexual objects and why it's adult film brain is like, why are you complaining about this in a piece of media? Like, why? When you're on the internet, adult films are so accessible. If you wanna go jerk off to adult films, go watch adult films. Why does everything have to be catered to your horniness in media? But that's what I'm saying as well, is that because it's everywhere, that's what loads of people think is a normal woman or what women should actually look like. And that's why I'm calling it adult film brain. In some ways, I feel bad for younger men now because it's everywhere. It's not just something you have to search up on your computer in secret when you're a teenager. It's literally like on Twitter. I tweeted about this in terms of why I quit. Like sometimes when I'd search just for like a football goal to watch the highlights, I'd get so much adult content just right in my face straight away. It literally is just so close to you seeing it all the time. So in that way, it probably contributes to adult film brain because it is literally everywhere on the internet. But at the same time, to actually take that and maybe even take some addiction you might have to that and think the whole of society, including your video games, has to cater to your adult film brain is just so insane. And let's keep it real as well. A lot of these people won't be absolute physical specimens themselves. As one of those comments nicely outlined for us, they're not. And they're not exactly comfortable with playing a character who's like them because they don't like themselves. So if it's a male character, they have to be like this badass hero. If it's a female character, they simply have to be a sexual object. So yeah, maybe a quicker one. I don't know how long this is actually gonna be. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching.